So we got into a good argument this morning. Uh, I said with these mostly crappy bowl games, I don't have a problem with McCaffrey or Fournette saying, you know, I'll, I'll play in the big game if right. I was in it and the regular season. But this, these bowl games are mostly a money grab. Right. And I want to protect it. Chris Carter came on and said, whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to bail on the team? You sign that letter of intent. That's for the season, which includes the bowl. Okay. Where do you land? I completely disagree with Chris Carter and and all those that want to get on their high horse and talk about the hypocrisy of defending a coach when he moves and defending a coach like Tom Herman when he's going to go to greener pastures, and yet we don't afford that same pragmatic thinking to players. See, too often, I think as fans, and even in retrospect, we view our athletes and our teams in an idealistic environment. We want some sort of utopian society where they're playing for the love of the game and they're playing for the love of city or school and so on and so forth. And yet the same fans view coaches and organizations in more of a pragmatic sense. So I don't think that you can have both ways. Okay, You can't talk about coaches making all the money that they're making in college football and being able to to leave and hold their school hostage because of open jobs elsewhere and saying, I want more millions of dollars. I don't think that we we should sit here in our sport and say it's okay for the Big 12 to hold Fox and ESPN hostage at the expense of Cincinnati and Houston for more money and yet come down on Leonard Fournette and Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey has touched the ball 700 times in the last two years. You're telling me he's not committed? Those were free carries, free carries. And he's put his foot in the ground and said, I will no longer give free carries. I, I applaud him. I think that it's refreshing, not disturbing, the trend in college football, that players are actually understanding their own value. And as far as Ezekiel Elliott, you want to get on your high horse and tweet out all morning? You left early. You're saying I would do anything to put on the scarlet and gray one more time. You had 12 more opportunities to do it. Just stay in school. You could have been in Columbus. Give me a break. So Chris Carter came out earlier. He thinks players should stay eloquently stated. Let's hear what he had to say on the show earlier. I have a problem with it because they started this season. They started when they signed their letter of intent. I don't care if it's the blue bonnet bowl. These are my teammates. This is my school and I'm going to play in it. This is athletic development and we can't train our kids mentally and physically to do the wrong things and reward them you're really backing out on your teammates and you're not enhancing your draft status I mean you think Fournette's going to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield between now and the draft no <laughs> he's going to run the ball between the tackles exactly like he's been doing for three years it is kind of bailing a little oh it's Tom Herman bailing on Houston totally Okay, so why do we view it in a pragmatic sense in, in that case? Did Joe Oliva bail on Leonard Fournette when he fired um, Les Miles in the middle of, of the season? Yeah. Okay, yeah, So, but that's just a business decision. So, listen, I understand what Chris is talking about. Personally, I would have made a different decision than Leonard Fournette or Christian McCaffrey. But that doesn't mean that their decision is wrong. It doesn't make them less competitive. I hope that in their draft meetings, when they sit there and some holier-than-thou scout gets in front of them and says, hey, I don't know if you really love to compete. I don't really know if you're committed to the, to the game of football or to your teammates. I hope that Christian McCaffrey and Leonard Fournette give this answer. I hope they look them dead in their eyes and they say, you better hope that everybody else in your division has that same opinion. Because if I see you twice a year, you'll understand exactly my level of commitment to the sport of football. We in college football can no longer artificially hold down players at all costs. Okay. Jim Harbaugh makes $9 million. And we're saying that a kid can't make money because his talent happens to be football. If he was a cellist, he can go make money. And now they're bad guys and less committed. I, I applaud the Stanford team for, you know, Solomon Thomas came out in support on Twitter. Trenton Irwin came out in support of Christian McCaffrey on Twitter. Uh, these guys have done more for their programs. LSU and Stanford were on the back of Christian McCaffrey and Leonard Fournette. And now, you know, everyone's saying that they're going to regret this decision later. Let me tell you what they would regret. A shattered knee, a shattered ankle. That's what they would regret. Because now they actually have an opportunity to better their lives for their family and for the years to come, really generations to come, and now they're being selfish? Give me a break. Isn't so, college football being selfish by saying you can art artificially, you can't make a dime? Give me a break. 